Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Walkthrough Wednesday. I am standing in the rear of the beautiful Montana 331. This is a gorgeous camper. It comes in just a little over 12,000 pounds. I think it's 12,070 pounds. I want to take you through a bunch of the features of this, mostly the creature comforts. I also want to let you know that this weekend, right before 4th of July, is the last weekend to take advantage of our Hit the Road package sale. So what that is, is it applies to our Montanas on the lot, it applies to our Montanas and our Paradigm units, or Avenue. If you buy one of those, you get this cool package. It's a $500 gas card, it's a six pack of snap pads, it's two really comfy chairs and a nice big uh, Blackstone grill. I think it's like a $1,600, $1,800 additional package. You're also saving additional savings on all of those units that I'm talking about. So, anyway, back to the 331. I am at the back of the unit, which is the living room area, and a lot of people really do prefer the rear living. I like it. I think a couple of my campers have had rear living. I really enjoy it because I feel like you get more space. So directly in front of me, we do have theater seats. Those do recline. You've got cup holders. You even have a place to keep the remotes and stuff in case you uh, are clumsy with them or forgetful with them like I am. You've got a nice big couch. This couch will actually fold out into a bed. But, to be honest with you, like, I have one similar in my camper. You have no problem laying down on it, taking a nap like it is. That is directly across from your entertainment area. So we've got a nice big TV that is on a swivel. You've got your uh, electric-only fireplace. I always want to point out that it is electric-only and that that's a real benefit because early season camping, late season camping, these things are going to take the chill out of most of the camper, not all of the camper, but you're not using any of your propane. You're using all campground electricity and they usually don't charge you extra for that. So it's a nice additional feature. Hidden behind the black glass is your CD, DVD, uh, Bluetooth, stereo. So when I say Bluetooth stereo, that'll connect to your phone. You can even control it like while you're out sitting by the campfire. You have inside speakers and outside speakers, which I'll show you when we go on the outside. Super nice. You can let friends connect to it. You can play some music out there. It's great. And they do it behind this black glass because your remotes actually work through that. So you don't have to have that sitting down all the time. You're going to see a central theme, actually a few central themes in the Montanas. One, beautiful and luxurious, but also tons and tons of storage. So we've got some storage up above here. As we work our way over into the kitchen, we've got a nice big lit pantry so you can keep all kinds of stuff in there. Huge island and all that grit come around. You do have a ton of storage. In, uh, not inside that. Well, I guess it is inside the island. Uh, down below the island with cabinets and drawers. And then you've got this like 70, 30, maybe 80, 20 stainless steel sink. A lot of people ask why they do this. It's so you can wash like small things or utensils and you don't have to get the whole thing dirty. It is a detachable sprayer. So if somebody's getting on your nerves, you can take that off and spray the person with it. Three burner stove, stainless steel, residential size uh, microwave, which is fantastic. It's also convection, but it's fantastic when you're camping because at home you're used to throwing things in the microwave, you like the same size. Again, more storage surrounding, and you do have quite a bit of prep space here, as well as you see that big island, even with the little fold up table there. Stainless steel, residential size fridge freezer. Plenty of room. I think I have that exact same fridge freezer in my camper. Plenty of room for like a week long uh, camping trip. I guess they always call this the breakfast nook area. I don't know why, but that's what I usually go with. Lots of cabinets and drawers. Plenty of countertop space for like your Keurig, your margarita maker. I don't know, whatever else you want to put up there. You've got lots of room for that. You can even display your knickknacks and all that good stuff. Before we move to the front of the unit, a couple more things I want to point out here. We do have the freestanding dinette here. It is technically considered a carpetless slide. This material is almost like what you get in like indoor outdoor carpet. Uh, it's nice because they say, about the bell, they say that it, it doesn't hold stains or stains are easy to come up, but it's also great if you've got pads because the pet hair sweeps up super easy on that. 
Directly up above, we do have our AC back here and we have a ceiling fan to help circulate that air, uh, which is really cool because it even gives it a more residential feel. Another thing to point out with the Montanas, they are four seasons rated, which means you can camp in them year round. If you're not gonna take them into the cold, which, why would you do that? But if you are not gonna take them into cold, the the extra insulation also helps with keeping it cooler. You have blackout shades throughout, so not only can you get a lot of privacy, but you can help keep that heat from coming in here. And like I said, that insulation kind of helps hold it all in here. So we'll work our way up to the front. Oh, before we go up there, central vac system. So it comes with a hose and an attachment. You don't have to bring your broom, your dustpan, all that crap with you. Leave it at home. You can pull that out. You can sweep real quick, be done. As we make our way back, we do actually have a couple of cabinets here that I want to point out. One would be to put your jackets, dog leashes, whatever, and then the other is your control panel. And a lot of people have pointed out to me that they like the control panel behind here because they don't have to worry about kids or anybody hitting the stuff. But basically your central command station is all right there. Making our way up to the bathroom. It's got a beautiful bathroom. We've got the double sinks, we've got the double medicine cabinets, we've got double drawers and cabinets down below, and you even have a little Sweden neutral area in the middle. Toilet, of course, and then over in the corner is a sit-down shower. I've had a sit-down shower on all my campers and I absolutely love it. You even have quite a bit of storage for your towels, toiletries, so on and so forth. So, but it's really nice because you can separate that space, you can have his space, her space, Keep it all nice and tidy. In the bedroom, we have a king size bed with some beautiful backsplash. Oh, that's not a backsplash, Greer. What would you call that? Headboard? Yeah, I guess. Okay, let's call it a headboard. Beautiful headboard. You do have nightstands on both sides, so you can put your CPAP, your phone chargers, whatever you need to, because you do have power on both sides. Uh, big closet. I mean, I t guess technically it's a walk-in closet, but it's just a really big closet with hanging as well as stacking storage space. In addition, you also have this closet back here that you can use for storage or it's washer dryer prep. So you can actually put a washer dryer combo unit in here, one of those stackable jobbies. Um, and like I said, if you want to full-time live in this, you can. Then directly across from the bed, We've got another bank of drawers. This is what I was talking about. Lots and lots of storage in the Montanas. You've got an extra bank of drawers here, a backer in the wall so you can actually mount your TV back here, watch TV in the bedroom, and a second AC unit in here. So it's gonna help keep it cool. And those are on a track. So they work in tandem with each other to help circulate the air. It's not one working back here and another working up there. I'll point out a couple of things on the outside and then we'll be done with the video. So we're on the outside of the unit now and a couple things I want to point out. One, you've got a nice big awning up here at the front, but since you have a slide on what they call the camp slide of things, you also have an additional awning there. So you're going to get a lot of shade out here. Big pass through storage and it does have TV hookup out here. Another thing I should have pointed out on the inside and I didn't, you'll notice the yellow sticker on this. All of the Keystone products have the, uh, what is it called? Solar Flex, thank you. They come with the Solar Flex 100. So what that is, is it's got a um, solar panel on top, one, and all the wiring done. So that's essentially gonna keep the battery of your camper charged for you, no problem at all. What's really cool though, they call it Solar Flex because it's flexible because you can go all the way up to like a 2800 series, which is like full boondocking dream and you can go anywhere in between. For instance, my wife and I, we jumped up to the, I think it's, this is the 200. We jumped up to the 400 and that give us nine plugs that work on the inside. It's great though, because you don't have to assume all that cost up front if you don't want to. You can add on to it whenever you want. And if you find you want more and you do want to do that boondocking, a lot of that wiring is there. So it's going to save you money in the long run. So anyway, you've got the solid steps. You've got the nice big grab handle, making it easy to get in and out. Your outside speakers are right here. I did want to point those out. 
And then on the back, you do have a ladder, so it is a fully walkable roof, meaning you can get up there anytime you want, clean it, maintain it, check all your seals and stuff, as well as clean off your slides and stuff before you run them in. If you're at a campground with like a lot of acorns or walnuts or something, you can do that. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this week's walkthrough Wednesday. As always, if you have questions, drop us a comment down below. We'd be happy to answer. And don't forget about the Hit the Road package ending this weekend. Have a great day.